Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of the Logo Design Lab series. Hey, this is the Random Word Generator website. Go to More. Then scroll down to the Pictionary Generator. Increase the number of words to 2, then click here to generate the words. And the combinations for this episode are, Duck Cup, and Bear Box. The first concept is for the words, duck and cup. I will start by making a cup. So with the rectangle tool make a square here by holding shift, then with the direct selection tool select these two anchor points. Then drag the corner widgets to make it rounded. Now select these two points. And drag this segment a little bit down. With the ellipse tool, make an ellipse from this side, to this side. Then with the eyedropper, give it the background color, hold alt, and shrink it from this side. Then drag it down a little bit. Now select the white ellipse and stretch it down. Then do the same thing for the gray ellipse. Then drag it a little bit down. Select the white shapes, then go to the Pathfinder, and click on Unite. Now select everything, and go back to the Pathfinder, and click on Minus Front. With the Direct Selection tool, select the topper part of the cup, then drag it down like this. I think it needs to be shrinked a little more. Now to make the neck of the duck. Make a vertical rectangle right here. With the ellipse tool, make a circle. I am gonna make it a little bit oval shape. Then I rotate it a bit to the left, and then I align it with this rectangle to form the head of the duck, hold shift and shrink it down like this. Then with the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, and drag the live widget, to make the corner rounded. Now I align it perfectly here, then I scale it down a little. Then to make the beak of the duck, I make a horizontal rectangle here. I put it here. Then I stretch it a bit from the right, then a little bit from here. From this segment hold shift then click and drag to make a circle. Drag it to the right. Then hold out and drag it up to duplicate it. Then align it with the upper segment of the rectangle, drag it here, then select the two circle along with the rectangle, and with the shape builder tool, drag on these shapes to merge it together to form the beak. Then delete the unnecessary parts. With the direct selection tool, select the right part of the beak. Then drag a bit to the left. Select the head, then go to Object, scroll down to Path, then click on Offset Path. I'll change the value to 8 pixels, then I press OK, Ctrl X to cut the offset shape, then I select the beak, and then I press Ctrl F to paste the shape in front, then go to the Pathfinder, and click on Minus Front. Now to make the eye. Make a circle here. Then with the eyedropper, give it the gray color, and align it with the head. Ctrl F to paste the offset shape in front, then select it along with the cup, and then click on minus front. Now select the beak, then go to object, path, and click on offset path. Then press OK. Drag it a little bit down. 
then select it along with the cup shape, then click on minus front. Select the cup with the neck and the head of the duck, and then click on Unite. Now select the duck shape with the eye, and click on minus front. To make the handle of the cup, make a rectangle like this, then swap the fill and stroke, and increase the stroke size to 20 points. With the direct selection tool, drag this anchor point a bit to the right, then drag this one to the left, then hold shift and select the other point, and drag this segment down here, then click on this points, and drag the widget to make the corner rounded. And then do the same for this corner. Drag it a little bit to the right. Then go to Object, and click on Expand, then press OK. Select the cup shape, go back to Object, and head down to Path, click on Offset Path, keep it to 8 pixels, and press OK. Ctrl X to cut it, then select the handle, and then Ctrl F to paste the offset in front, select them together, then go to the Pathfinder and click on minus front. Moving to the bear and box words combination, I'll start by illustrating a box. Make a square here, change its color to white. Then hold click on the rotate tool, and select the shear tool. While the square is selected, hold shift and slant it down. I put it right here. Then hold Alt and drag it up here, then with the direct selection tool, select these two anchor points, then drag it up and to the left like this. Now drag it down here. And on the color panel, select the stroke, then with the eyedropper, hold shift and give it the gray color. Increase the stroke size to 8 point, I think it needs to be thicker. So I set it to 14 points. Drag it to the right to align it with the other shape. Then go to Object, and click on Expand, and press OK. Right click and click on Ungroup, hold Shift and click on the white shape to unselect it. Then from the Pathfinder, click on Unite. Select the gray shape along with the white one, and then with the Shape Builder, click on the middle. Select the new formed shape and press Ctrl X to cut it, then select these two shapes, and from the Pathfinder, click on Minus Front. Delete this shape, then right click on this one, and click on Ungroup, then delete this part. Now press Ctrl F to paste the cutted shape in front, then change its color to white. I select the two shapes and I scale it down a little, then hold Alt and Shift and drag it to the right. Go to Object, Transform, and click on Reflect, then press OK, and then drag it to the left to align it with the other half. Select everything and drag it here. Then select these two upper shapes, and hold Alt and drag it up here. Go to Object, Transform, and click on Reflect. Change the axis to Horizontal and press OK, then drag it down a little. With the direct selection tool, select these four anchor points, then drag it up like this. Select everything, and put it aside. Now to make the bear, go to the ellipse tool, and make an oval shape like this. Then hold Alt and drag it down, then hold shift and scale it down a little, hold alt and drag it up here, shrink it down, and then rotate it to the left. Shrink it down a little more, and then put it here. Hold alt and drag it to the right side. Then go to object and reflect it. Drag it a little more like this. Then hold shift and select the other one, right click and group them. Select everything, 
and from the align panel, align them to the center. I shrink the ears a little more, then select everything, and from the pathfinder, unite them. Now make a circle. Then with the direct selection tool, drag this point down here. Then make a little oval shape here. Then give it the gray color. Select the two shapes and align them to the center. Make this one a little bigger. Then with the pen tool, starting from here, make a straight line like this. Then increase its size to 10 point. I'll drag these two a little bit up. Then I make this line a little shorter. Then make a new circle, remove the fill color. Then select this anchor point, and backspace to delete it. Drag it up here and align it with the line. With the direct selection tool, select this point, then rotate this handle. And then drag this point here to make the line aligned with the white shape. Hold Alt and drag it to the left. Then go to Object and reflect it. Align it with the straight line. Then select the three lines, then go to Object and click on expand, then press OK. Hold shift and select this great circle with them, then go to the pathfinder, and unite them. Hold shift and add this white shape to the selection, then go to the pathfinder, and click on minus front. I will make the bear shape in negative space, so give the bear head the background color, then drag it here and shrink it down, and then align it with the box. Select these four parts, then right click, arrange, and then bring them to front. Make it a little smaller, then drag it up a little. Now shrink down this shape, and drag it here, make it a little more smaller. Select the bare head, Ctrl C to copy it, then select it along with this box flap shape, and from the pathfinder, click on minus front, to cut it out from the box. Now select the left flap, Ctrl F to paste the bare head in front, then from the pathfinder, cut it out, to make the eyes. Make a little circle here. Then hold out and drag it here. Now select these two flaps and Ctrl G to group them, then do the same for these four parts. And then group the eyes. Then select everything, and from the align panel, align them to the center, and that's it. Moving to the naming and coloring phase, I will not name it with the same words, but I will make the name a little bit funny. With the text tool, click here. Then make it bigger, and change the color to white. Double click on the text, and I will name it, Quack Cup. For the font. I will use a modern sans serif one, Roboto. Change the weight to bold. And then put it here. Bring the logo here. Then shrink it down. Right click and ungroup it. Then select the body. And give it a yellow color.
Then select the beak along with the cup handle, and give it an orange color. Scale it a little bit down, and drag it a bit to the right, and that's it. Moving to the bare box concept. As usual with the type tool, click here. And then change the color to white. This one I will name it, Grizzly Gift. For the font, I will use a playful one that fits this concept, which is, Baloo. Now I drag the logo and put it up here. Then I make the type a little bit smaller. Right click on the logo and ungroup it. Select the box parts. Then from the color panel, I choose a light green color. The bottom part of the box, I will change its color to white. Then I color the word gift with the same green color. I shrink the type a little bit down, then right click and create outlines. Group all the parts of the logo, then select everything, and align them to the center. Now, it's mathematically aligned to the center. But optically there is something odd. To correct this, I make a rectangle like this. Then I swap the fill and stroke. Then I align it with the logo. Now I can see that it needs to be moved one point to the left. So I move it with the arrow. Then I move it a little bit down. And that's it. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new and had fun watching this video. If you did. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to join the Facebook group for this series, where you can share your logo designs, get feedback, and interact with other fellow designers. You can find the link to the group in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.